Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough, starting from hole 9, for once. <laughs> Let's see if we can wipe him out. Um, 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 I'm, I'm thinking there is going to be safe. So, let's hit her up there. I'm aiming for that higher plateau there. Uh, because other stuff will probably roll into heath or bunkers or something like that. Oh, 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 semi-rough. Well, that's not bad. But yeah, as, as I said, if I don't hit it up to that, uh, top tier, it'll roll into something. And it rolled into something. Although I kind of got away with it, because the semi-rough isn't all that bad. Oh, 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 bunker. I was not expecting him to get into that. Oh, another little fun fact about uh, Link style. Oh, he hit the tree. Oh, he's in the heath. <laughs> anyway, another little fun fact about uh, uh, Link style golf courses is, is that they tend to have pot bunkers that are all over the place, just like this course. Uh, the recently played St. Andrews at the uh, Open Championship on the PGA Tour. That's uh, one of the things that is a pretty good example of uh, this course here. Well, actually, vice versa. If anything, this course is based off of the old course of St. Andrews, because, come on, the old course is way older than this game. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he does here. Mm, that's a pretty good shot. You could probably chip it in there. It's relatively easy, I think, for a chip in. Oh, the wind is pretty high. Uh, oh, 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 he didn't make it. So he's gonna... He's actually gonna bogey this one, wow. That's... It's kind of sad for him. <laughs> I mean, he is supposedly the best of the best, and I'm... somehow five up. This is incredibly awkward. I was expecting to have a much, much harder match. But let's see what I can do here. Let's see if I can get even further up ahead here. I think this is going to go on the Heath, actually. Uh-oh. Uh, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to land with the ball where the pin location is here. I'd prefer if it was at the upper left or something like that, but uh, oh, it looks like he was aiming to the center, but didn't quite pan out. We both ended up short there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He'll probably get a close and then put it in for par. We'll see though. Mm, yep, he might even chip it in. Yeah, let's see here. Let's plop her over, like maybe there. And just let's. The ball do its thing. Oh, my ball is actually sitting down in the rough, but I'm gonna go for it anyway here with the slow shot. Oh, that actually turned out terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again, I guess. Hmm. Cuz I have nothing to lose at this point. Uh, oh! <laughs> That's alright, I bogeyed. It's not like that I'm gonna lose that much leeway against them. <laughs> I probably just try should have tried to hit it uh, like a regular pitch shot, getting it high up in the air, but no, nope, I tried going for the chip in. I suffer for it. <laughs> it's alright though. I'm still quite a bit up, so not a big deal. Mm, let's see, it's gonna semi rough, I guess, yeah. Ever so slightly in there, and I'm gonna hit mine probably up there, I'm gonna say, because it's nice and safe. Uh, yeah, that should be good. I was a little worried about the wind pushing it over to the pot bunkers or something like that, or me, maybe me miss hitting and ending up in the semi rough, but I ended up getting a pretty bad lie on the fairway though, so might as well be in the semi rough. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, this isn't really worth going for the hole, is it? I mean, yeah, I, I could, in theory, shoot for it, but th th everything is just against me here. The wind is with me, so it's going to be hard to get the ball to land high and soft. I'm in the... I got a bad lie, and yeah, it's just... I got to play it somewhere up on the green, but I got it a little bit long there. And that would have been probably even a little worse if I would aim to... Oh, jeez, that was close. If I had to aim to the uh, uh, pin itself. Alright, so let's try and chip this in. And, and, and. That looks good. Let's hit it about there and trickle it in, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, genius. 
You just lost the point you gained on me. <laughs> Alright, okay, uh, how about there? That looks good. It should bounce between the bunker and the rough. Should is the key word here. Is it bounce? It's gonna right go right there, yep. Perfect. Perfecto. I was aiming for that particular part of the fairway because the rest of it is fast fairway. So I figured it would be difficult to kind of hit my ball and land it on the fast fairway despite it looking wider. Because look, look what happens when you hit the fast fairway there. See that? It goes in the bunker. And yeah. It, let's say it goes in the bunker if you hit a little bit too long. So be careful of that. What looks like a more dangerous play there that I shot was actually probably the safer play. And he's going to make it on in three anyway though, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I can't... Oh, maybe I can make it on. We're gonna see here. I didn't forget about my driver this time! <laughs> oh man, let's see how it goes! It's flying, it's flying, it's flying! No, nope, not gonna make it. Not bad, though. I might actually be able to putt that in. I mean, I'm just barely off the green, so... Just plop it in from the fairway, hopefully. <laughs> For Eagle, that would be really nice. Uh, his approach is going to be pretty good, I can tell. Well, as long as he doesn't move the cursor, it should be good. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Putt. And I'm going to aim a little bit to the right. And I'm going to hit about there on the gauge. Oh, nope, too hard. The, it, I didn't let the brake take it down to the hole because I hit, didn't hit it too hard. That would have been fine, though, if I would have hit it with less power. Ooh. <laughs> nice putt. Let's see if I can make mine. Hit with a little bit more power, take off the break of it, and there we go. So we tied. One more medal to win. Um, if I had a higher drive, I could go for the green and one. But that's not going to happen here. So I'm going to hit over there. And not at max power, though, because if it hits the ridge, it might go in that little pot bunker. Oh, actually, that's going more further right than I expected. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I was expecting it to hit the bunker about where his cursor was there. But, uh, no. No, didn't. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm still in good shape, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, he's gonna be about where I am. Our balls are overlapping! <laughs> he's like one pixel away from my ball on the overlapping. Hmm. 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 So we're gonna see how good we both are here, if we got basically the same shots going into the green here. Let's say about there. I think backspin, oh, missed it a little bit there. Might still get away with it though. Uh, yeah, this is looking good. <laughs> so we're about the same distance away. I'm a little bit closer, I guess, but it's gonna, it's gonna end the same. Both are gonna get birdies. Yep. Just as I figured. Aim a little bit to the left. And plop her in. Woo! And we got a dormy! So I get to hear my favorite music along with my second favorite music in the same video. How lucky am I? <laughs> oh, I miss it. Hmm. Just a little bit of a miss hit. It's probably gonna go in the heath. So this could last another hole. Yeah, probably gonna last another hole. Because chances are he's gonna birdie. So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it all depends where his drive goes, actually. Because his drive's gotta be well positioned in order for him to get on the green in two on this one. Because it's a long par four, and as I said before, he doesn't have that high of a drive. So, we're gonna see. He's got a kind of an awkward lie, but it's rather predictable. So, he'll probably be able to smack it up there pretty good. It's not too shabby. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Uh, two iron is just not going to work for me. I'm just going to have to try and put it out there as far as I can. With the three iron, I hit the tree. Doesn't really matter though, I'm just aiming to get it out there. Okay. I, I highly doubt I'm going to chip this one in. But I'm going to go for it. Two iron. A little bit to the left. That uh, should be okay. Top spin. And pitch it up there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That's... that's way long there! 
Why did it go that long? I don't- maybe because the green is faster than the typical surrounding surface? I don't know? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna try and putt this, I guess. Hit it about there, because I'm pretty far in the semi-rough. No. I'm getting greedy here, and I'm kind of kind of suffering for that. <laughs> I can make this putt, though. No problem. Okay, there's a problem. <laughs> so I double bogeyed that hole, because I got really, really greedy. Animation for the uh, double bogey is pretty much the same, though. <laughs> That's what you get when you get greedy at the Lynx Club. So, we got another dormy hole coming up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More of the awesome music! Oh yeah! I don't regret the double bogey whatsoever. If I can hear the awesome music of extreme enthusiasm. Uh, this is gonna be pretty hard to hit. I'm on the green here. I'm go like that. And probably put backspin on the shot. Uh, yeah, looks good. Ooh, this looks really good! Oh, oh no, I'm too long. <laughs> it caught the ridge. That's, that's pretty bad, actually. Alright, let's whack it up there. Let's not, let's not get too cute with this now. I've been trying to get too cute with shots, and let's not play around with it too much here. <laughs> no more risks at the Lynx Club here. The Lynx Club is a very punishing course. Of doom. Oh, 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 close. Well, if I make my putt, I win because it's a dormy hole. Ties and wins because there's no no more holes left for him to recover on. So, there we go. Match game is complete. Woo! Let's get some experience points. And some more experience points. <laughs> All right, what should I level up here? Probably my, my impact area here. Because it's getting a little bit low there. <laughs> okay, it's not getting that low. I have lost, kid. By the way, this cutscene's, I guess you could say, background image of the green is different depending on what course you play them on. So you're going to see the, the 18th green area of the course, uh, of whatever course you beat them at. I'll admit, your golf game is beyond me. Did you lose, genius? There's the other club champs. I can't believe you lost. I'm afraid it is true, Grace. I thought I'd be the one to do it. Power alone cannot defeat me, correct, Tiny? Yup. So kids' techniques better than yours, genius. It pains me to say so, but kid is brilliant. Hmm? Too genius. I'm going nowhere. I merely wish to be alone to deal with the shock. But genius, you're just giving up? I lost the match, my title, and the will to fight. Now I wish for Kid to defeat Mario. This is rather sad, actually. Mario, the best golfer, will be invited. You can visit the castle with Peach's invitation. You can play Mario at Peach's castle, kid. And thus, they go off into the sunsets of the Lynx Club. So, what should I do here to fill out the part? <laughs> what I'm thinking is I'd like to show you a couple little secrets here. If you go like over to here... Oh no, no, wait, this isn't it, is it? Uh, no, I thought there was someone... Hold on, where is the person I'm looking for? I'm looking into the woods here, by the way. Uh, no, it's, it's somewhere, hold on. No, no, not here either. Huh, I don't think the thing that I'm looking for is here right now. Maybe it unlocks after I beat the game? Hmm... I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I go over to Peach's Castle.